2020 version of an oxygen concentrator. In this video, we're going to be making an oxygen concentrator powered torch. Let's go. I got this jewelry torch. This takes oxygen and propane gas and converts it into a flame that's 6,300 degrees. That's larger than two whole football fields. So we have our jewelry torch here and we're going to carefully unbox it. This is apparently the little torch. It's a big torch in my book though. This is a jewelry torch and we have the two inputs here. This one's electricity and this one's gas. This one will go to the oxygen concentrator and this I'm going to use this propane tank right here and I'm going to connect it here somehow. You want to screw it on backwards so the flame goes directly towards your eyes. That way when you turn it on, it'll spray into your eyeballs. This is an oxygen concentrator. It's black magic. It works by taking nitrogen out of the air and dispersing pure oxygen out of here. Sorry, not pure, about 95%. What it really does is it takes zeolite materials and molecular sieves inside the machine, pumps regular air through them, nitrogen gets absorbed by the zeolite materials, and oxygen is pumped out the end. They call this a pressure swing oxygen concentrator because there's two molecular sieves, one here, one here, and then a compressor switches between the two of them. When one of the sieves is saturated with nitrogen gas, it switches to the other one and bleeds out the excess nitrogen into the air. That's how they keep fresh oxygen coming out the nozzle 24-7. Alright, we connected the oxygen line up to the propane tank. This is not the propane. We're going to connect the oxygen line up to the oxygen concentrator, and now we'll take the propane line and we'll connect it to the propane tank. We'll use this propane adapter to screw it in. On our way to the Darwin Awards, we're going to be connecting these two fittings together and connecting it straight to the propane tank. This is the smartest thing I could think of, as I'm getting a Nobel Prize for this. Oh shit. Alright, I've taped this thing on the propane tank, and it should not come off. I don't hear anything leaking at all. I'm going to plug in the oxygen concentrator, and we'll be ready to rock. Alright, we have the oxygen on and we're just going to leave the oxygen valve open to allow the oxygen from the oxygen concentrator to go through the line. It takes a minute. I'll keep the gas valve closed during the entire time so we don't get any oxygen in the gas line because that would lead to some fun events. Now we'll turn on our propane. Now I'll close the oxygen line and purge the gas line of gas. Now we have the flame here and it'll turn off the gas a little bit more. I'll turn it down until the flame reaches the tip and now we'll turn on the oxygen. There you go. Now that's how you're supposed to use it, and that thing is extremely hot, so I'm gonna put my finger in it. Alright, let's test it on this steel container. Wow, that's hot. Let's see if we can poke a hole. Alright, this isn't quite exciting enough for me, so I'm gonna switch the tips to something I made myself. I made this one myself and it's just a giant hole. Let's see how this one works. This will let a lot more gas through, which means more fun. That looks like fun. Let's try it now. Oh wow. Holy crap, it's trying to do it like butter. Look at that! That's so cool. Thank you for watching, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.